Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, Eric here. Um, getting ready. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, today is Monday, September 19th. Um, I'm in San Jose, getting ready to go to Monday Night Raw. This is like the first wrestling event that I've been to since WrestleMania 32 in Dallas, which is like 2016. Um, I have no idea what's going on. But recognize some of the faces, so let's um, get out there, check it out, have a good time. Hopefully, maybe we can meet some people. Um, have my belt with me, got some signatures on it. Uh, see if we can get some more. But take you along. Let's go. Thank you. 
Hey, so I hope you enjoyed those videos. Um, I had a good time at the event. Um, as of filming, this is like a day or two after, but I wanted to just come back and give you all a recap of the process. My first time um, sitting so close to the ring and you know, through that is the, um, it's like the ring cider package. So I just want to give you all a breakdown of what that process looks like the things that they give you um, as a result of you like picking that package and um, show you all the pickups I got as a result. So first and foremost, when you get your ringsider ticket, but when you purchase it online, they don't send you the um, the barcode or like the, the scanner thing for you to like go like, you know, general tickets where you, you get it on your phone, you can scan it. When you get to the event, you actually have to go to the box office and they'll ask you for like your ID, and like some e email address, like, like proof that you actually purchased the ticket. And then they'll send it via text message to your phone. And I think this is done probably for like security reasons, you know, since you're sitting so close, stuff happens, people jump barricades or like those stuff. And I think to prevent folks from getting away with stuff, they probably take that extra step of security to make sure that you are who you say you are and stuff like that. So um, when I showed up at the event, went up to the box office, got my, um, tickets into my phone and was able to get in line just like everyone else. Now, when it comes to the ring cider package, um, I don't know, well, as, as of filming this, um, there are like certain set things that you get as a result of getting that package. Um, as you're watching this, that list of things may have changed, but the way you pick that up is, and they'll send you an email maybe a week before or so, telling you how to uh, pick up your um, items. And for me, I had to go to like the north side of the arena and they'll ask you for your name, um, I think the email address and like your ID. And they have a list of names that they'll check you off and then they'll give you a bag 
pretty much that looks like this. And inside of this bag has um, like an autograph uh, picture that comes with it. Um, you get a, a piece of a ring and some other stuff too, I think, but the, the bag is, you know, one of the things that you'll get. Um, so let's see the bag. Oh, so I guess I'll go through and show you the things that come in it. So this is the piece of the ring that you get inside that bag. Um, comes in like this frame. I haven't taken it out yet. Just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna hang it up somewhere or put it in my office or something. But let me give you an up close look at that. There's nothing on the back, but there is like this little piece that you can, I guess kind of like stick out and like put up and hang on a wall or something. But that's that. Um, and then you get a signed uh, image of someone. Now, most of the, um, these aren't pre, I guess, packaged in the bags. What they do is they go through like a box and they like, they pull them out. And so um, for this event, they had like Finn Balor, they had uh, the Usos like separately. They had some of the uh, female wrestlers. And I think what they do is they just pick them out at random. But I was like one of the first people to show up to get mine. And I noticed that they had others uh, in there. I think they were gonna give me one of the Usos at first. And so I just asked so I can get Finn Balor instead. And it wasn't a big deal that they would just pop it out. But uh, depending on when you get there, if you see someone or you wanna like try to get someone else's signature, uh, just try to ask and see what happens. Or worst they can say is no. Um, then you also get this thing right here. Inside of it is a, um, it's like a miniature replica belt. It's in pretty nice casing. I guess be good for a display somewhere. Yeah. And then on the inside, opens up like so. And you get the belt replica. So this isn't like some cheap material or something like that. It's kind of akin to like a, a, a jewelry box or something. Um, so it holds up pretty good. It's so like I said, you can store this, or not store, but like display this somewhere like on a shelf or if you have like an office or something and it'll fit in pretty nicely. Let me show you the belt. But yeah, it's like an actual mini replica of a belt. I'm sure you can like button it up. Let's see. Yeah, see? Yeah, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with these things just yet. I'm gonna put them in my office or something, but it'll be nice additions. So the final thing that you get as a result of the ring shadow package is the chair. Now the way that works is it's the exact chair that you sit in um, during the event. For myself, I was sitting in the second row, um, row 18, and I think you can see like from the videos and images, um, you know, I guess like where, in terms of like the camera facing I was. So what happens is you go through the entire event and maybe five to 10 minutes before it all ends, someone comes up to the row and says, hey, you know, to claim your seats, just stay in after the show ends. Someone comes through, they check your ticket to make sure that, you know, you actually were sitting in that seat and they unclip the chair and you're able to take off with it. So here is mine. Once again, it's like, it, it's it's a cool thing to have, but I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this. Um, maybe that folks come over and have like an extra chair or something like, hey, I got a chair. But it's cushioned and it says ring slider on it. But give you a look at that. Yep. But that does it for the ring cider things. Um, really quick, just show you some of the stuff I picked up from the store. Um, and this is to the shirt that I had on in the videos and the pictures. Uh, which is like a John Cena shirt. I picked up this Seth Rollins shirt, which I thought looked pretty nice. 
And then also got the Los Mysterios shirt that they had. I like how it mimicked that old school Eddie Guerrero shirt, so had to get that. But yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, like feel free to you know, reach out in the comments, happy to answer. But overall, it was a good time. Um, this is my first time sitting that close to the ring. Um, you get to interact with the wrestlers a bit more. They, I don't know, they, they, I won't say they go out of their way to interact with folks at the barricade, but because it's a live show, they have to like put on a show. So I guess that's a part of it. But overall, I had a good time. And I'd say check it out if you're interested. Definitely recommend it. But um, yeah, that's everything you get. And if you have any questions, reach out. But thanks for watching and have a good one.